Quick FYI, I got my TV back. Shout out to my boy, Amonique. My brother hooked me up. Made sure I got my TV before the Super Bowl. I watched the Super Bowl on this TV. Thank you, brother. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Um, hope you had somebody special to spend it with. And if you didn't, none of this shit actually fucking matters anyway. If we really keeping it all above. So don't feel like, you know, whatever about it. But did my thing for my lady. I'll show y'all a little bit of it before she get in. You see it? Just a little slight action. Hundred rose clip. And these are like micro roses. They're not like the like super big roses. I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to go with the standard bread, so dope. But once again, man, this day is just another day. You know, if you don't really have nobody special to spend it with, don't even worry about it. I spent eight years with no Valentine. Eight years. Well, not eight years without a Valentine, but eight years without something that's, you know. Like that go-to person, you know? So, just another day, man. Fuck everybody. I'm just sitting here watching Kyrie Irving highlights. This man is one of the best handles ever. Look at this right here, look. Oh my God. Okay, so it is February 25th. I am at the mall because I'm going to this fashion show. My boy Doncel, Generation Typo, DC Fashion Week. We back again. This week I got Terrence going with me. It's snowing. So I'm gonna try and find something real quick to wear, man, because I have shit to wear. So we're gonna see what we can find. I am so ill prepared for this. I should have 100% already bought something to wear. Doing this is the worst thing you can do. Just try to find something to day of. So I walk past Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Montclair. I walk right past all that shit. Came to Zara. I'm not getting all of this. I'm only getting something from here. I'm looking extra bummy too. But I'm not getting all of this. I just need one, one thing to work. Don't pay attention to the undershirt. The jacket. Got a little orange on the inside. Fucking with that. These are the new style jeans where you go with a heavy, you know what I'm saying? These boots. Fucking with them. I don't know. I feel like a, a little bit of a, uh, a yay inspired type deal. Y'all can't really see, but I'm gonna get this gray over. I'm gonna get this black print for Terrence. I'm getting this jacket. I'm getting these pants. These boots. Getting them. That's pretty much all I need. I think I just wanna get some a frame and maybe a hat and then like a shirt to go under because I can't wear like a... But we'll see. Right now we in good business. The next thing I'm gonna buy is a real nice, like, designer belt. All I have is this, the drink you used to get your ass whooped belt. You see how I got the little bend? Nobody see, I'm not a have my belt out type person, so. But I do want like a nice, like a Louis belt or something. So that's the kick game, modern boot. These drinks cost me $80 at Zara, 80. And that's my get up right there. Amazon for this. People don't like to show their contraptions. All of my vlogs I shot on the iPhone, cinematic mode. Come on. And then fellas, it's really not about what you have on, it's just how everything come together. These pants, let me move this. These pants are simple. Simple pants cost 49, I believe. These boots cost me 80, this shirt 19. And then I got this jacket, it's like a green bomber. Boom. So you see it? Orange on the inside. Nice little brown rim, but watch how I put it all together. See this beanie right here? Little, see how we doing the, I got the neon orange, but I'm gonna sell it with a little burnt. The cream can't go wrong. Let that fall right there. <laughs> but we not done. See the glasses? That's how you set that off. I'm gonna give y'all the, the whole look. I didn't want to go with like a dressed up value. I know last year, if you watched the vlog that we did, 
I did like a dressed up vibe for the fashion show. This time I wanted to look real chill, but fashion ready. I see you got the wrist with. Bought some stuff. This one I got from my girl. Nah, Terrell, I'm not fucking with this. Nah, that's fire! You dress like the nigga from Set It Off that set up Jada Pinkett's little brother. <laughs> what you dress like? We about to shut this motherfucker down! They about to go, I'm telling you. Hey, that's a nice hat. I guess you need that person that does this. We about to shut it down! Oh, I'm trying to uh, take this off. Look at that! Look at them boys! Bang, come up. Let's go. DC Fashion Week. I'm gonna try to cover as much of it as I can. Can't wait to see what my boy Don Cell got going for, for uh, Generation Typo. Y'all already know, like I said last vlog, I've been there since day one. This is a pandemic born uh, brand. And we, it's the third time we showing up DC Fashion Week. We're gonna be front row. I don't know who hosted last time. They had a nigga look like Blair Underwood, but we're gonna see DC Fashion Week. Let's get it. Dang. And we gotta walk this whole joint back up. It's showtime. Let's get it. Success. They smoked it. I really can't say enough. You know how proud I am of my boy Don Cell. We literally started out making nine, ten dollars an hour together at Best Buy in 2014. And I moved up, he moved up. No, he moved up first. Inspired me to apply out. I ended up moving up. We ended up working in the same district. 
And we just stayed close, man. There were people that hated on him, people that said, oh, he's he just trying to, you know, he's a, you know, because they didn't like him because he was working hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just, like, had passion. I just be proud of him, man. And you see somebody take something that's the size of a fucking sesame seed and grow that shit into doing, you doing your third or fourth DC Fashion Week, shutting the joint down. So, support your friends, man. That's what, I, I, the reason why I do that is because I want y'all to see what real support looks like. Y'all know me. I, I take my, my red bag everywhere. I've been to the last two shows. I'm going to try to go to every one. The only one I didn't go to was in New York. But if this motherfucker become a billionaire, I'm not going to be bruh that wasn't there. I'm going to be hopefully like Emory Jones. Ta-ta. But that's my guy. Shout out to him.